Hello, my name is Jim Ward and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS PDM Technical Support Specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, I will be explaining how to use a maintenance plan in Microsoft SQL Management Studio to manage backups of your PDM Professional database. Please note that this video will apply to PDM Professional only as PDM Standard runs on the free version of SQL called SQL Express and SQL Express does not support maintenance plans. There is another article that does cover how to do automatic backups for SQL Express. There will be a link to that article below. Why backup your database using SQL? Well, the reason for that is because the SQL log file will only truncate after a backup is done. Many companies are already backing up the entire PDM server and feel that there is no reason to also have SQL perform a backup. But the SQL log file will continue to grow until SQL performs a backup. After the backup, SQL will truncate the log, keeping it from growing too large. So that's probably the major reason right there for doing SQL backups. Now, once you have the backup, a PDM vault can be recreated with the database backup and the archive vault files. So doing a backup and copying that backup off the server is part of what needs to be done in order to safeguard a company's data. So how should the backup be done? Well, daily, uh, because uh, every day you're using PDM, you are changing the database. And so it's good to keep the most recent changes to the database. So a daily backup is good. Now further, you should test your backup for two reasons. One is you need to be certain that you know how to restore your backup. The second is that you want to make sure that it is a valid backup set. One way to test that is every month restore the database to a test computer to verify the backup is valid and that you know how to restore your vault. Let's switch over to SQL. I will show you how to create a maintenance plan that manages the SQL backup. Here we are in SQL Management Studio. In order to create a maintenance plan, we go down into Management and then Maintenance Plans and you can right click and then you have the choice whether to do a new maintenance plan or to use the maintenance plan wizard. In our case, the, the maintenance plan wizard has uh, several predefined uh, tasks. With that is the backup maintenance plan. So we will use the wizard to create our backup plan. Here's the maintenance plan wizard. Choose next, we need to give it a name. So I'll just call it the backup. This gives you a choice to change how the service is run. We'll go ahead and use it as the SQL Server Agent service. And we'll use a single schedule for the entire plan. Um, and so for the schedule, down here notice it says by default it's not scheduled, meaning it only runs on demand. So we will change that. And for your uh, PDM vault, it's best to run it daily. Uh, 12 a.m. that would be midnight. So you can choose what time you want it to run. Um, you might want to choose uh, 1 a.m. There is no end date. And there's a little description. It runs um, every day at 1 a.m. Then that's the schedule. Tell it OK. Then we move on to the next one and you decide what needs to be done. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up the database and we will do a full backup. We're not interested in a differential. And we will also do a maintenance cleanup task so that uh, we can tell it to delete old database backups. If we don't do that, then the backups will just continue to accumulate until somebody goes in manually and deletes them. So it's best to turn that on. So I'll choose next. And you can change the order as to how things are done here. So of course, first we do the backup and then we do the maintenance cleanup task. So now we define um, the, the backup. So it's going to be a full backup. We tell it which databases to backup. Um, you can choose the databases down here. Um, in my case, I'm just going to say all user databases. There's really not much reason to back up the system databases. We're going to back up to disk and we're going to tell it um, the destination, we have to tell it where we're going to keep our backups. Backup file for every database, that's great. And then we don't need a subdirectory for each one, but the folder that we need to, need to do need to tell it which folder we're going to keep it in. Now, by default, it keeps it in the program files, the MSSQL, 
backup folder. That's a little bit buried, so I prefer to put a folder uh, closer to the root level. In my case, I did create a folder just for backups called Database Backups here. So I just need to select the folder, tell it OK. And the backup file extension is indeed BAK. Now, since we're using this maintenance plan wizard and it does create the backups for us, it does append the BAK for us automatically. If we're doing the backups manually, we have to put in that BAK. Then the cleanup task, data files to clean up would be the backup files. If you want a maintenance plan a text report, if you have that option, at some point you'll want to go through and create a, a maintenance plan to delete those. The file location, we want it to search a particular folder. And again, we need to search the folder in which we're keeping our backups. Database backups, tell it OK. The file extension, we need to tell it what the file extension is. Of course, that's BAK. Delete the files based on the age. That's really our only choice is by age. Or how many backups you want to keep kind of depends upon how often you back up your server. If you're backing up your server, on larger corporations, I'm sure you back it up, you know, daily, in which case you may only want to keep a couple of days worth of backups actually on the server because you have then the other backups that are uh, kept off of the server to go back to if you need to go back more than that. In this case, I'm just going to say keep um, four days worth. Well, let's keep a week's worth. Let's keep seven days worth. So now anything older than seven days will automatically be deleted. So since we're backing up daily, that means we will have seven backups. And then this is the report. If you decide that you'd like a report for your, your backup, then uh, check this box and specify you want the, the report saved to. If you're going to do a report, I would recommend that you save it in the same folder as your backups, your database backups. Just remember that these reports do not automatically get deleted uh, unless you set that up. You can set up a, a maintenance plan to delete that. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. So let's say we're going to go ahead and write a report to a text file and put it over there. So now we're done with, uh, with setting it up and he's actually created it now. So this is what it's going to do, create a maintenance plan called backup plan. It's going to be a full task. And then there's a maintenance plan cleanup and then there's going to be doing uh, reporting options. So I'll select finish and it will create the the maintenance plan. It's, it's done. So now if we look up over here, here is our backup maintenance plan. Now, should you decide that um, you wanted to save those, um, those reports, but you don't want to keep a whole bunch of them, you can come over here and modify this maintenance plan. Now, when you choose modify, you should get this um, toolbox area. If you don't get a toolbox area, then come up to your view and choose the toolbox so that you, you get options. Without this, you don't get any options and um, you'll have a difficult time managing your backup plan. So notice this is our, our how it looks if you choose to create a maintenance plan manually and you need to choose the backup task and then the maintenance cleanup task. What we're going to also do is we're going to create another maintenance cleanup task. So I just drag that and drop that over here and then we double click this to modify it. So there's the servers up there, delete files of the following type. In this case, we're just going to delete the maintenance plan text reports. So let's tell it which uh, folder that they're, they're going to be in. So again, that's database backups folder. The file extension is txt for text. So, and once again, I'll, I'll go back for, uh, I'll make it um, just like the backup plans themselves, I'll make it for seven days old. And I'll tell it OK. And there's a little arrow on the bottom of these maintenance plans, and you use this to determine the order of the task. Well, actually, I'm going to change the name of this task so I have a better idea as to what it's doing. Right-click it and choose Rename. I'll right-click this one and rename it. Delete old backups. And there's a little arrow coming out of the bottom of this. You can use this to reorder or to specify the order that, that things happen. So there we go. So first we back up the database, we delete the old backups, then we delete old reports. 
Then when we're done, we can save this up here. I'll close this down. Now, if you like, you can uh, run this manually. It's also scheduled, but to run it manually, simply right click it and choose Execute. So you can see this little dialog comes up, status. It is creating the backup. Since we don't have any, um, it also created a report. So let's minimize Management Studio, Database Backups. So now you can see we do have database backups. I told it to delete any that are older than seven days. Uh, let's see, but it created backups for every um, customer database that I have, and therefore it created one for you know several of them. Date modified, these are all from today. And then here is the maintenance um, report is this text document here. So double click it and it gives you an idea as to when it happened, it succeeded and it gives you the actual um, SQL script down below that it ran. I think that that's it for um, creating a maintenance plan task in SQL. Uh, this has been Jim Ward with Go Engineer discussing how to use SQL Management Studio to set up a maintenance plan that will back up your database and remove old backups. Thank you for watching.